Hello guys and welcome back to a new vlog. I am starting a court of <laughs> I am starting a court of frost and starlight. So when I got this book in the mail this week, I about lost it. This book is tiny. The previous book, A Court of Wings and Ruins, is like $699. This is $229, so this shouldn't take me long at all. I will probably finish it by tomorrow. I'm sure I will, but I'm kind of excited because I think this one's going to have quite a few different point of views. I've heard this is like the worst one in the series, so I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to let that really affect me because I honestly I'm like really easy to please when it comes with books like I'm not really picky obviously if you've been watching my videos you see like I'm like oh my gosh it's so good because I have no other vocabulary and also because if I like it I like it and I think it's good I'm excited to read this so we'll see how it goes and I'm gonna get started on that okay so the first chapter was Feyre's point of view the second was Reese's, and now the third is Cassian's but I don't like Cassian's because it's almost like third person like it doesn't seem like it's his point of view exactly, but like it is. Whereas like Feyre and Resand, it's a lot of, it doesn't just say their name. Like it doesn't say Resand did this, Resand did that, it's I did this, I blah, blah, blah. But Cassian's is like, Cassian wasn't entirely certain. Like it's weird. Why is it like that? I want, if I'm going to read Cassian's point of view, I want it to be in his head. I want it to be I, I want it to be that first person narrative and not like, referring to himself in third person. That's weird. I'm feeling off put by that. I don't know why. But I think this book is going to be just a lot of fluff. Like I think it's just going to be a lot of like politics and cleaning up after a war. Because technically this is book like 3.1. So A Court of Wings and Ruin was like book three. This is just like a tiny little novella almost. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I I hope the point of view gets better. I don't like that it's like third person. It's kind of weird. Hello guys. So I am a little, almost halfway done with this book. I didn't read much yesterday, but that's just cause it was a really lazy day. And look, this makes me so sad. It's raining, well, rain snowing, um, mostly snow. So we have snow outside now and I'm not, not excited about that at all. And I have class in less than an hour, well, a little over an hour, which I'm not looking forward to. So I'm gonna try to get a good chunk of this done and then I'm gonna finish it tonight. So that's why I haven't really vlogged much. I'm Just because it's such a short book, I don't wanna come on here and be like, oh, this is happening, this is happening. I wanna kinda just come at the very end and give you my quick thoughts on it because this is just a short 200 page book. So I don't wanna give away too much now i might as well just talk about it at the end but so far i actually really like it there's different point of views and i just i have some thoughts on it i'll check in with you guys tonight once i have finished this book okay my class is over and i have like 50 pages left and i'm gonna finish this and then i've got some thoughts and i'm excited about it okay another book finished I really liked this because I it just like it's a very tiny has no action nothing crazy happens but to me it kind of felt like I don't know I just really loved it um it was very it was much more mundane and we just got to see them live their life with like the only thing to worry about is what they're getting each other for solstice gifts and so honestly, it felt like, you know, when movies have like Christmas specials. So like I, the first thing that's coming to my mind is Shrek. So the Shrek movies have like the Shrek Christmas or the holiday special. Well, that's what like this felt like because they're celebrating the winter solstice and they're getting each other presents and like going through life. It's snowing. It just felt like a cozy Christmas holiday book. And that's why I really liked it. Like. It was almost just like a Hallmark movie, but set in the Fey world. Like, I really enjoyed that. It, it wasn't anything extravagant. It wasn't anything great. Like, it wasn't a masterpiece, but I really liked it. It was cheesy. It was, 
It was definitely cheesy. I liked it. Um, and I think that's kind of an unpopular opinion for this one. I always hear this is like the worst one, but it's not really a part of the series. I mean, it is a part of the series, but it's not like the, one of the main focuses of the series. So it's just kind of like a standalone almost, but not. I don't know. This is one that I would probably read over Christmas because it just reminds me of like Christmas. I just really liked it. I liked it a lot. And it, it was a hap- it was a very happy ending. Like it wasn't disappointing. Like it wasn't nothing crazy happened. Like you're not set up for the next book. Um, which I actually kind of enjoy. Like it was just it was a nice fluff read and I really liked that. I liked that a lot, actually. I was really nervous when I was gonna read this. Also, you get a bunch of different point of views. So the only point of views we didn't get were Amrin, Azrael, and Elaine. We even got like a snippet of Nesta, just a snippet. But I actually really liked that. And I think the next book is a lot of her point of view, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know. But I'm looking forward to that because I really want to kind of see what's in her head. I mean, the only thing I didn't really like about it was the fact that, like, the point of views that weren't Rhysand or Feyre were, like, third person. It was That was weird. I wish it would all just been first person narrative. But I loved the solstice gifts that they were giving each other. I, as much as I want Lucian and Elaine to like work things out, to have that mating bond that Rhysand and Feyre have, like I want them to have that. I really like her and Azrael. Like they just seem very sweet for each other. So I don't know where that's going. I was really excited that Rhysian and Feyre are going to start trying for kids. Little baby fairies. I'm interested in the, um, like, what do you, gestation period of a fairy? Is it the same? I don't know. I really don't. So I'm curious about that. Um, but if she's, I mean, I'm surprised she didn't get pregnant from that night in the cabin because jeepers. And I'm excited for little baby fairies. And then she, I almost, you guys, I teared up twice in this book. Because I like the cheesy romance, okay? I like it. She's painting and she opened up a, well, she was gifted this abandoned gallery, basically, this space. And so she and Racina are, like, doing a business together. And they're, like, teaching these little baby children fairies to work through their emotions through paint and it's free and it's just amazing and there's so much in this book that was just it was light it was sweet i enjoyed it it was easy to read and nobody died nobody almost died nobody got hurt okay nobody got hurt that's all that matters i just yeah i'm i'm i've said it like 10 hundred times i liked it it's not I have no other words to describe it and like not a whole lot happened so I can't even really go into much detail so this is like the shortest reading vlog I've ever done because it's the tiniest book I just I don't know I liked it a lot so I think I'm gonna give it four stars and I'm really tempted to take I, I liked this one better than the first one I don't, they're different it's hard to even compare them I think I'm in the minority that really liked this book, but I don't even care. I liked this book. I'm giving it four stars. That's my thought on this one. Um, I feel like I, I can't say for certain until after I read the next book whether or not this is one that like you could skip if you really wanted to, but why skip it? It's literally 229 pages. Unless you just don't like the cheesy romance. I love. Give me all the cheesy romance. Give me all the cheesy holidays. Give me all the cheesy point of views. I loved it. I... Maybe that's like a guilty pleasure thing or like I just have bad taste in books. I don't know. I, I like it. And I like what I like and that's all that matters. So that's the end of this book. And I am immediately going to start A Court of Silver Flames right now. Can't wait to see that. So I will see you guys in that reading vlog. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in my review of this book. Bye.